to your reaction to being drafted by Cleveland? Uh, you, you know, obviously, uh, I've had a few teammates play at F, or from FAU at the Browns and heard a lot of great things. And, and when I got that call, I was extremely excited and, and just ready to go up there and go to work and do whatever I can to help the team win. Excellent. So we'll open up to questions. We're going to start with Tom Withers. Hey, Harrison, thanks for joining us, man. Welcome to Cleveland. Um, I'm sure you may, may know about Kevin Stefanski's um, love of tight ends. What, what does that mean to you to be, come to a team that, that utilizes tight ends as much as they do? So, um, coming from FAU as well, we use a lot of tight ends. So, just knowing um, what uh, offensive um, I could be utilizing on the team. So, it's just uh, it's a great situation, and, uh, and I'm ready to go to work. Sorry, Harrison, you broke up a little bit there. Would you mind uh, answering that question again? I apologize. Can you can you hear me now? Yeah, we got you. Just uh, okay. broke up a little bit. If you could just answer that question yeah. again about coming to a team that utilizes tight ends with their system. Okay. Uh, just knowing uh, how Coach Stefanski and um, in his recent play calling years and, and the OC's play calling years, how they use tight ends, uh, just coming into that situation with some other great tight ends uh, and just being able to be in three, two tight end sets with them is just going to be a really cool situation and just ready to go to work. Offensive line and defensive line in high school, were you a skill player waiting to break out? Were you waiting for that moment to, to be able to show those skills? Uh, yes, sir. I always knew I could, I, could, I was just like, a, I shot. and actually my high school coach, he was like, I think you should play tight end. And so moved to tight end and, and it worked out for me. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Mary Kay. Hey, how do you feel about joining a group that includes, you know, now Austin Hooper and it's got number one pick David Njoku. Mm -hmm. What do you know about those guys? How do you feel about joining them? How do you feel like you're going to uh, fit in with this mix? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm obviously extremely excited to join, uh, this group of tight ends, uh, two really, really, really good tight ends. Uh, I've watched a lot of tape on Hooper as well as Najoku. So just to, to come in and join this group and, and just to be able to do whatever I can to help produce and, you know, make the tight end room successful, I'm ready to do. Thanks. Nate Ulrich, you're up. Hey, Harrison, can you kind of uh, just describe uh, for us what you think you're going to bring as a player? Um, and uh, one of the Browns uh, scouts was just on, and he was talking about your uh, ability as a pass catcher and how uh, you've been really consistent with that over, you know, the course of your, uh, you know, college career. How did you develop that? Uh, you know, give us some insight into what makes you uh, a guy who's known for that. Um, first off, I feel like I can bring a lot of versatility to the team. Uh, lining up anywhere I'm asked uh, and, and really lining up wherever, whatever I need to do to win and to help the team. And uh, really just developing as a pass catcher, uh, not playing tight into my senior year of high school. It was um, really in my freshman and sophomore years that I really focused on developing, just learning how to run routes and uh, become a better pass catcher and a lot of help from my position coaches, uh, you know, the receiver coaches and also the other tight ends at FAU. We had a really close bond and and one of our other tight ends, who was a really great route runner, and I just got to work with him, and, and he taught me a lot of good things, and, and now it's uh, worked out for me. Who, who's that? Um, his name's John Rain. Thanks, Nate. Next up, we will go to Jeff Shadell. Jeff? Hey, Harrison, could you talk about uh, what's the jump in competition from Florida Atlantic to the NFL going to be like for you? Yes, sir. Um, you know, I have a really close friend, Devin Singletary, who plays for the Bills now. Um, had a great freshman year, or rookie year um, for the Bills, and uh, I've been talking to him a lot. And for, for him, he said the biggest jump, which, so um, that's, that's the biggest thing is just obviously getting used to the different speed of the game coming from the FAU. Um, you know, we played Ohio State, um, UCF, and some other big teams throughout my career, so We've, we've had some faster speed of games, but nothing like what I'm going to have to prepare for and get used to. So I thought that's the biggest jump um, is just the speed of the game. Thank you, Jeff. And we'll go to Steve Dorschick. Steve, your line's open. Greetings. 
How are you? Good. How are you? Going back well. to the, thanks. Going back to the Ohio State game. If you can put yourself uh, on the field that day, you no, know, that's uh, kind of maybe a, a, a crucial moment uh, in the career of a guy who would want to go to the NFL. But what was running through your mind as you prepared for that game, as you went through that game against the best of the best uh, college athletes? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, going into that game, first game of my senior year, I knew this that was the biggest football game of my life, like you said, to just um, really help show what I can do and just get myself this opportunity for the next level. So going in, I knew I needed to play well, block well, um, catch the ball well. I actually had um, a drop early in the game, but I rebounded well and finished really strong that game and really put some great things on tape that I, I think helped me out and uh, helped make um, – really helped the Browns make this decision as well as other teams, like just how they looked at me and how it was thought, um, people thought about me. And, and that was a big part of my career was that game. Another thing I would like to ask you would be about uh, Kelsey and Kittle, the gold standards of the mm -hmm. game. I mean, they were in the Super Bowl together. I assume you were watching, but are there yes, any sir. sorts of reference point uh, mm -hmm. for you in, in terms yes, of, of uh, what you may reach? Mm -hmm. And uh, well, in college, um, throughout my four years, I, I watched a lot of George Kittle tape. Um, really, just watching to see how he uh, how he ran routes, how he how he just competed, and and the biggest thing was how he blocked. He's a great blocker, and he's he's really the most complete tight end. And I really just, I mean, I mean, I've been mentioning sen and words and and stuff with him. You know, he's the best of the best, and I, and I hope my potential to to someday be like him and and be at the level he is. And, you know, it's just a lot of work and, and just coming in and doing whatever I can to, to get to that level. Thanks. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Next up for questions, Marla. Uh, hi, Harrison, and congratulations. Um, I just wondered about the, when you said your high school coach said maybe uh, you should play tight end, were you like goofing around in warmups or, you know, was there something that you did that day that prompted uh -huh. the, his, him to say that? Actually, um, my junior year, we were in a, a big, uh, like, state final game, and I, and I caught two tackle eligible for a touchdown, and he could tell I could catch well. And, and after I grew a few inches and lost some weight, uh, that's when he uh, put me at tight end, and it, it worked out for me. And the, the, you know, not being heavily recruited and then ending up as the Mackey Award winner, I mean, that's mm -hmm. kind of – what a journey. I mean, does that kind of blow your mind still about, you know, how far you've come? Yes. Um, um, you know, coming out of high school, very lightly recruited, uh, you know, I got an uh, opportunity at FAU and just went there and I, and I knew I had to make the most of my opportunity. And I, and I felt like I did uh, won the Mackey last year, which was a huge accomplishment to join that list uh, to previous tight ends, uh, all great tight ends. And, and I definitely felt like I made the best of my opportunity at FAU. And now I'm just, looking to make the best of this opportunity with the Browns. Thank you. Thank you, Marla. Next, we'll go to yes, Tony Grossi. Hey, Harrison, uh, you mentioned uh, former teammates who played with the Browns. Uh, I'm thinking Greg Joseph. Yes, uh, sir. Darius Taylor, did, were you a teammate with his? Uh, no, sir, I was not. Actually, the other two were Trayvon Coley and uh, Brandon Bryant, and I'm pretty sure he's still on the roster. Okay, so what, uh, what did you hear from them about playing for the Browns? Uh, really was since I have the new staff that haven't had too much contact with them, but, um, obviously a lot of great things about Cleveland, the fans, um, just the surrounding area and, and how great of a time they've had there. So I'm just really looking forward to it. Thank you, Tony. We have four hands up. We'll finish with these four individuals, Dan, Scott, Nate, Mary Kay, Dan, you'll start us off. Uh, hey, Harrison, when, when we talked to one of the Brown scouts, he, he mentioned um, meeting you at the Senior Bowl and, and kind of how you stood out there. For for a guy like you coming from FAU, how important is that week, you know, going mm -hmm. up against some of the competition there and, and kind of mm -hmm. proving you belong on the field with those guys? I actually think that was the um, really the most important part of this whole process for me was just going to the Senior Bowl and just proving that I am. I can compete on that field. Um, I can hold my own on, on that field with those that type of talent and and, you know, I went there and I felt like I had a great week, um, you know, picking up a lot of things. And actually, my offensive coordinator for the team I was on is actually the OC now for the Browns. So I think that kind of had a, a thing with it, um, Coach Van Pelt. So, uh, you know, that was a good tie-in to have, too. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. We'll go to Nate Ulrich. 
Hey, I, I just wanted to ask you about the, the Mackey award that mm -hmm. Marla touched on this a couple minutes ago, but um, to be the first uh, tight end from a non power five program to win that, what does that say to, to you uh, about um, just kind of, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, does that give you confidence that, yeah, you're from a smaller school, but you really do belong at the NFL level and you can, like you mm -hmm. said, you're going to have to prove that you can adjust to the competition level. But does that, does that accomplishment give you that, that confidence that, that you're going to belong here? Um, I would say it does to an, to a point because obviously, um, you know, uh, it's, it's selected by a lot of people, but at the same time, I really get my confidence from just the way I, I work off the field, uh, preparing every week for the game and stuff. And I, I wouldn't say I, I let the trophy really or that accomplishment really give me that much confidence. It's really just how I prepare and, and carry myself um, to get ready for the game and practice and stuff. All right. Thank you, Nate. And to close it out, Mary Kay. Hey, uh, Harrison, just, just curious about uh, what do you think about Gronk returning to the game? Mm -hmm. What impact has he had on your own career? Mm -hmm. And did you ever, you know, I don't know, whatever, pattern yourself after him or try to in any way? And and how has he sort of made it cool to be a tight end? And then some of those other guys have have carried that through. Um, he he's uh, you know, he's one of the best to ever do it. Possibly the best to ever play tight end in the league. Um, I was I was extremely excited when I saw him um, announce that he was planning on coming back. Uh, like I've, I've watched a lot of tape on him, just like I've watched on George Kittle, um, you know, try to try to pick stuff from every tight end that's had success in the league. Um, just just pick little things and, and really just um, model my game after the ones that have been the best. And, uh, you know, he's a he's a character off the field. He has fun with it. So, hope, I mean, I'm, I'm not I, I'm not too like outgoing as as much as him. I'm, I'm an outgoing person, but not like him. So, you know, I'm just looking to come in and, and just make a lot of great friends and great, great relationships in the locker room like he did and, and just have a good time and, and win a lot of games.